Hi, this is Jyoti here. Welcome to Jopat Tech Guru. In today's session of csharp.net, I'm going to discuss regarding expando object class. This is a very helpful class for the developers who want to do something during runtime or in the dynamic way. So the agenda goes something like this, wherein I'm going to discuss what is expando object class, how to create the instance, how to add the new members using lambda expressions, how to implement expand object class and how to pass it as a parameter. If you have not subscribed yet for my channel, please do subscribe and like the video. Click on the bell icon to get the notifications of my new video. So what is expand object class? This represents an object whose members can be dynamically added and removed at runtime. So if you want to do something during runtime or you want to change the behavior of the object during a runtime, you can use this expando object class object. So the expando object class enables you to add and delete members of its instances at runtime and also to set and get values of these members. This class supports a dynamic binding, which enables you to use a standard syntax like object one dot sample member instead of more complex syntax like sample object dot get attribute of into bracket sample member. So once the object is getting created, you can store any type of information. So we are going to see the example. In that, I'm going to discuss how to create the object and then how to store the data inside that. So the expand object class is an implementation of the dynamic object concept that enables getting, setting and invoking members. So how to create the instance? In C Sharp, to enable late binding for an instance of the expand object class, dynamic keyword must be used. So you might have used dynamic keyword to create the object and create the instance for many classes. So when an object is assigned to an object variable of the specific type, then the C Sharp compiler performs the binding with the help of .NET framework. So here we are using one of the concept called as late binding. So what exactly the late binding is? In late binding, the compiler does not know about what kind of object it is and what are the methods or properties it holds. Here, the objects are dynamic objects. So the type of the object is decided on the basis of the data it holds on the right hand side during runtime. So the late binding is achieved using, using virtual methods. So whenever you want to change the behavior of the data during runtime, you can always prefer this dynamic keyword. So if you are going to create the object of the expand object class, I cannot create the instance just like the normal classes. Here I'm using a dynamic object one equal to new expando object class. So how to add the members? So you can add the properties, methods, and events to the instances of the expand object class. So currently in this particular program, I have taken object one dot sample equal to, this is a dynamic property and using console dot write line, I'm printing the sample and I'm using this get type to extract the data type. So let me switch to Visual Studio. For convenience, I have already written the program here. Let me execute and show you the output. So here, object one dot sample, I have stored this sentence and I'm printing sample and get a type. So once you execute the program, you're able to see two information. This is a dynamic property 
and the second is the data type so data type is system dot string because i have we have we have given get type here now you can observe that other than the normal namespaces we have got something called as system dot dynamic if you are directly going to create the object of expando object class then it is going to show you an exception and there it is going to show you to add the namespace called as system dot dynamic in this namespace all the entire information about expando object is defined so how to use the lambda expressions the methods represent lambda expressions that are stored as delegates which can be invoked when they are needed so here we have got a program wherein we are storing number equal to 10 so object 1 dot number equal to 10 and we are increment the value using the lambda expression so using the action method we are directly going to give object 1 dot number plus plus so before increment what is the value after calling this increment function what is the value so let me switch to visual studio again so we have got a program here in which again i require this dynamic object so i'm creating the dynamic object one here and using the lambda expression increment i am incrementing it and i'm printing the values accordingly so you can observe the output here we are getting 10 and 11 so before calling the increment method we have stored 10 here so it is going to show me 10 after calling the increment the number is incremented in the lambda expression and i am getting 11 so you can observe that object 1 is the object of expando object class as it is a dynamic one during run time it is going to change the behavior and currently we are using the lambda expressions now how to pass as a parameter you can pass instances of the expando object class as parameters note that these instances are treated as dynamic objects in c sharp and late bound objects in visual basic this means that you do not have inclusions for object members and you do not receive compiler errors when you call non existent members so you will not be getting any support from the microsoft or inclusions because it is a runtime activity which you are doing it within the program if you call a member that does not exist again an exception occurs so let us see with an example again i'm switching to visual studio so i have already written the program here okay so in this program first of all you have to include system dot dynamic and we have got two objects of dynamic one is customer and second is manager so customer new expando object this represents the object of expando object class and here i am storing name and age information currently i am storing suresh and 35 next in the manager i am storing name mahesh age 32 team size 10 we are calling a function called as right person in which i am sending manager as well as customer objects so here private static method we have written which contains the object dynamic manager that means 
whenever i am sending the manager information i can display accordingly and if you are calling right person for the manager this function will display the manager information next again we are calling it for the customer and it is going to display me the customer information so first of all let me execute and see the result so here we will get two set of information one is mahesh is 32 years old because we have stored over here and suresh is 35 years old okay so now let me just change some of the informations here suppose if i am going to display manager dot team size this is going to display me 10 okay so you can observe here it is showing me that there is no information called as manager dot team size so it is not displaying 10 why because here in this case you are sending the information of the manager which is having three set of informations and customer is having only two set of informations if customer is also having team size then only you can display this information so now suppose if i am going to comment this then you can observe that we will be getting the information regarding the manager that is mahesh is 32 years old and he manages around 10 people so i am getting manager.name manager.age and manager.team size but again if you are calling the same set of information for the customer you will be getting an exception as i don't have any dynamic information related to the customer for the team size so if you are calling the function with the parameter of dynamic then it holds the data accordingly so the data is going to get extracted and the behavior of the data will change during the runtime so this is all about the expando object class hope this entire video has helped you to understand the concept very clearly i have given many examples to make you understand the concept let me know in which all other technologies you are looking for the videos so that you can comment and i can do it accordingly please subscribe and like the video thank you for watching have a great day ahead